Beautiful, and we're going to take some long arm circles. So when we're ready, as we exhale, bring those arms all the way around and down. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, round and down. Inhale. Let's do one more this way. Inhale, all the way back up. And then exhale, let's go forwards. Working with the breath, taking those circles forwards. Nice long arms. And then next inhale, take those arms all the way up. And as we exhale, bring the arms to cactus. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the bottom. And if it's comfortable, you can lift the chin a little bit, start to open the chest, maybe even take a gentle back bend. Just taking a few breaths. And then next inhale, bring the spine back to straight, take the arms all the way up to a V shape. Again, just a few breaths here. Imagine somebody reaching through the tips of the fingers, shoulders are relaxed. Maybe even looking up. And then exhale, come all the way down into your forward fold. Let the upper body relax now. And then gently start to bend one knee and the other knee. One at a time, just feeling into the hamstrings, the calves, the ankles. Wonderful, and then straightening both of those legs if it's comfortable, taking a breath. And then making sure that we've got the fingers or the hands connected to the mat. So if you need to bend the knees, bend the knees, take a breath in as we breathe out, step that left leg all the way back. Drop down onto the left knee. Now rise up into your low lunge, but bring the arms to cactus. So a bit of a cactus theme this evening, squeeze the shoulder blades. Open out into a gentle back bend. And then bring that spine back to a neutral position. So not back bending anymore, but the arms are still in cactus. So then take some twists, taking a breath in as we breathe out, twist to the right. Breathing in to centre, breathe out, twist to left. So be mindful, just be very careful, don't go twist too far. Feel into the back as you do this. Doing a few on either side. My straight spine only leaning back. One more on either side. Wonderful. And as you come back round to that final side, bring the left arm down. Take the right arm up. Breathe. So we're in a little low lunge. Um, reverse low lunge. Just go back as far as is comfortable. And then as you exhale, big windmill with those arms, bring those hands all the way down either side of the right foot. Tuck the left toes under, lift the knee, a breath in as we breathe out. Bring the right leg to join the left. So plank position or three quarter plank. Let's chaturangana. Keep those elbows tucked in, strengthen those shoulders, chin, chest, belly. Inhale up to cobra. And then as you exhale, just roll back down with the chest. Again, push into the palms of the hands. Inhale, rise up to cobra. Exhale, roll back down. We're only going to do one more. Push into the palms of the hands, rise up to cobra. And then exhale, transition to your down dog. Take a few breaths. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards, exhale, left leg, step it all the way through to the top of the mat. Inhale, dropping the hips. Exhale, right leg joins. Again, just hanging out for a few breaths in your Uttanasana. And then let's rise up, big circle with the arms. So bringing those arms all the way up long, straight by the ears. Exhale, bring the arms to cactus. Squeeze the shoulder blade, squeeze the bottom. Take that gentle back bend if it's comfortable. Taking a couple of breaths. 
Next, inhale, straighten the spine, arms come up in a V shape. And then this one will go straight down, exhale, all the way down into your forward fold. Soften the upper body, bend alternate knees, feel into the spine, the hips, hamstrings. And then straighten those legs for a breath or two. We're making sure fingertips or hands are connected to the mat, so bend the knees if you need to. And breath in, and as we breathe out, right leg steps back, drop down onto that right knee. Inhale, rise up to your low lunge, bring the arms to you, cactus. So you can take a little gentle back bend to begin if you want to, and then bring that spine back to a straight position for our twist. So inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your right. Let's do a couple more on either side. You can hear the storm raging outside. One more on either side. We, we stop on this final side. So over, we stop it over to the right, bring the right arm down, take the left arm up. Don't lean back too far because it can be a bit tricky on the balance. Make sure those back toes tilt under, looking up towards the fingers. Exhale, big windmill with those arms coming all the way down. Plant the hands either side of the left foot, tuck the right toes under, lift the knee. Next exhale, step back with the left leg. Again, we're in plank or three quarter plank. Exhale, chin drops, then chest, then belly. This time we just do one cobra, rise up, and exhale, tuck the toes under, and push up to your down dog. And inhale, bend the knees, look forwards, exhale, right leg, step it all the way through to the top of the mat, inhale, dropping hips. Exhale, left leg joins, maybe a breath or two in Uttanasana. And then inhale. This time let's just rise up, bring the palms together, and exhale in front of the heart. Taking a few breaths. Releasing the arms, give the arms and legs a little shake out, take some water if you want to. And then again, we want to make sure we're at the top of our mat. A little bit of fun with this one. We have some laughs in the studio last night, so don't worry if it doesn't happen. A bit of balance. So I'll stay here for now, but if you, yeah, if you can be at the top of your mat. Hands on the waist. So let's focus those eyes. Turn on the tummy muscles. And then when we're ready, lifting the right leg and just start to point and flex the right foot a few times. Circle a few times one way, and a few times the other way. And now we're going to try to come into eagle from here, which is not the way we normally do it. So if it doesn't work, I'll show you another way. But crossing the right leg over the left, and then start to bend the left knee, and see if you can, well, just see how far you can get the toes around the back, basically. If that doesn't happen, don't worry, just tap the right toes down on the outside of the left foot and work from there. You can just start to lift the toes a few inches. <clears throat> so wherever we are, let's listen to the body. And we're going to try and come down in a moment. So bending that supporting knee is beneficial. And if you want to bring in the arms, it's just an option. But if we want to, arms come wide. Left arm comes over the right. And then take your options. So opposite hand, opposite shoulders, elbows need to stay crossed to feel that stretch in the shoulder blades, back to hands or squiggling into linking. Remember, if you still don't feel a stretch, you can lengthen the arms up. Wonderful. And then if you want to give it a go, for those of us that are there, so again, don't listen to the ego here. Be where you are, be comfortable. If you want to give it a go, we start to come into a little forward fold here. 
bending back supporting me as much as we can dropping down with the upper body and then releasing relaxing the fingers down towards the mat so the right toe will probably unravel at that point if you've managed to get the fingers down left knee still a little bit bent right toe is unraveled it's still just sort of crossed over the front of that left leg and then see if you can slowly straighten the left leg you might not be there, so don't worry if you're not there. If you're not there, release your eagle and come into a forward fold. And then for those of us that have got that right leg crossed over the left, see if you can uncross it and then step it all the way back. For those of us just in Uttanasana, stepping back with the right leg. So option here, right heel stays lifted or you can drop the right knee again into low lunge. If you want to give it a go, Modified warrior one, we're going to rise up and try cactus arms again. Squeezing shoulder blades. Remember, we can have that back knee dropped, dropping the hips, opening through the heart and the shoulders. Nice. Okay. Next inhale, take those arms into a V shape. Exhale, drop a bit lower. And then next exhale, we'll roll those arms all the way down. Hand them either side of the left foot, take a breath in. And as we breathe out, step that left leg back to join the right. Plank position, or three quarter plank, chaturanga. Cobra. Down dog. And inhale, bend the knees, look forwards, exhale, right leg, step it through to the top of the mat, inhale, drop the hips, exhale, left leg. And then here we'll do a little half forward fold, oh, Uttanasana, exhale, full forward fold, and then inhale, rise up again, taking a circle, bringing the palms together above the head, exhale, bring them down, in front of the heart, and taking a few breaths. Beautiful, well done everyone. Bet you had fun with that. Remember not to be, oh, why can't I do it? Just having fun with it is the best way. So let's try the other side, shall we? Garadasana, eagle pose, just making sure that you're at the top of your mat. Hands can stay on the waist. Feet are hip width, focusing the eyes, turn on the tummy muscles. All of those little tips that help with balance, feeling through the sole of that right foot. And when you're ready, lifting the left leg, let's point and flex to begin. It's a little extra stretch for your ankle because it is a big stretch on the ankle, this one as well. Circling the foot a few times one way. And a few times the other way. And if it doesn't work for you getting into your eagle balance this way, them your usual way so just tapping the toes down on the other side if not start to bend the right knee and see if you can wrap the left leg around be mindful of the knees but don't over wrap just to please the ego want to make sure the knees feel comfortable and then if you want to bring the arms in this time the arms can widen and the right crosses over the left and then we've got the options with the arms as well for this shoulder stretch. So opposite hand, opposite shoulder, backs of hands interlinking. If you're still not feeling a stretch, you can take the arms up, making sure the shoulders, uh, the elbows, sorry, stay crossed. And if you've managed to get there, you could have a go at joining me at really bending that supporting knee, dropping the body down as low as you can. And that back toe will start to unravel, don't worry. It may not. See if you can reach the fingers down. And don't straighten that right leg really quickly. Take your time. Just want to lock it out. And then, if not, just come into your forward fold. We're unraveling that left leg if we did come into it from our eagle. If not, just lifting the left leg. And then exhale, step it all the way back. So keep that left heel lifted. Either drop down for a low lunge or rise up for your warrior one arms come to cactus squeeze shoulder blades exhale drop the hips open the heart breathe nice. now let's
let's take those arms up. Keep the shoulders relaxed, reach, exhale, drop a bit lower. Inhale, and exhale. Good, roll it all the way down, plant the hands either side of that right foot in the breath in. And as we breathe out, step back, right leg back, plank position. Chaturangana. Cobra. And dog. And before we come back, we do a little bit more strengthening for the shoulders here. So if it's comfortable, coming down onto one forearm and then the other forearm into your dolphin. Hips are still lifted, pushing those heels down. Push the weight up and back. And let's see if we can plant one hand and lift back up the other hand. So we're back to down dog. Inhale, bending the knees up forwards. Exhale, left leg, step it all the way through to the top of the mat. Inhale, drop those hips. Exhale, right leg. Just hang out in your Uttanasana. We're not going to rise up. We're actually going to come back down in a minute. So just take a few breaths here. Allow the upper body to relax. Allow the shoulders to relax. Let's do a little half forward fold like we did on the other side. Inhale, little half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, and just start to come down to tabletop position. It doesn't matter which leg you step back with. Wonderful. In tabletop position, 